hello everyone welcome to i'll show you how to create a discord bot and uh connect it to your discord server afterwards i'll show you how to implement some basic uh commands and the uh, most basic one we'll implement is a youtube search command using the youtube sr package which will let us search for youtube videos through discord and get the results so starting off obviously we will be using discord js the uh, as the library um to create a discord bot and obviously we'll be creating the bot in javascript so starting off, we need to initialize a project. So npm init dash y. Oh, no, I didn't put y there. Dash y. That'll just create the npm package JSON. Let's install Discord JS and create a new um, a new file called index.js. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So. Then we'll go into getting get get started. I'll open this page. We can go down here and copy this example uh, usage, and I'll explain it uh, line by line. So we import Discord JS. We initialize a new client using the client. Uh, I think this is a class. Yeah, constructor. Um, client on ready. This is this function gets fired whenever the client logs in. So you could put something else here. This will just be console log, or you can even put like you if you wanted to send like a message or an email or whatever you want it. Client on message. This is the function um, that gets triggered uh, whenever a message is is detected by the client. So if you add this bot to a server, whenever there is a message on the server, this will get triggered. Okay. So then we have login token. This is where you would put your Discord bot token. Uh, before we get to that, I will create another file named config.json and inside it we'll have the token. And then we'll put token here and then we will also have the prefix, which is usually what you have uh, before commands. I'll put, you can put anything here like a dot, uh, the most used one is like exclamation point or like plus, so I'll use exclamation point. And then let's get the token. So to get the token, you need to go to discordapp.com, go to developers and then developer portal. This will open this page. Uh, I'll create a new app just for you. Name it Jimmy the Bot 222. Just so it's, yeah. So this is it. And then you go to bot right here. You say add bot. You click, yes, we do. This will do this. And then you can reveal the token and copy it from here. Then you paste it in here. And then, and then you go in here into our index.js and then we import token and then we also import the prefix from from dot slash config json and then down here you put the token right there okay so the next thing we want to do we'll test this ping pong command so this this basically message content contains the content of the message this will check whenever the the, mes the message content equals to ping the bot will reply with pong but we'll get to that so next thing is inviting the bot to our Discord server. I created an empty Discord server here, um, just me chilling. So I'll import the, uh, invite the bot. The way to do that is you go to OAuth2, and then you select a bot, and then you uh, just open this link. This will detect your Discord account, and then you can select the server you want to import it. So Ruka YouTube test, I click authorized. And then yeah, blah, blah blah, and then we go here, and there's the bot Jimmy, the bot two, 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 two. So in order to start this bot, we'll create a command in our package JSON, a start script, which will just be node index, which will just yeah, we'll just open the index JS file with node. So if we now say npm start, we will see logged in as whatever, and then the bot will be here, and then if we type stuff, nothing happens, but if we type ping we get pong back so uh in this quick time now we have a functioning bot that sort of you know detects um works connects and is able to receive um commands so what we want to do next is actually configure the bot a little bit so in here instead of th this being this simple we'll, we'll add a bit of logic to it so first of all so a good thing to do at the top of your uh, client on section is have an if statement that checks if message uh, message dot oh, 
then sg dot author is a but. So if it's a but that sent the message, we don't want anything to happen. So the bot will not respond to any messages sent by other bots, which is obviously something you want. If you don't want that, you can remove that line, but it's something most bot, uh, bots should have. The next thing we want to do is check if the message the bot is reading has the prefix, which we defined up here and in the config file. So if it does, the bot will then care. If it doesn't, we don't care about the message. So if message dot content dot starts with which we'll check if the the message starts with the prefix so the prefix uh, then we want to return as well well if it doesn't so if if it does not start with the prefix return if it does keep going to the next line of the code okay so here you can do a billion different there's a billion different ways you could uh, like set this next part up uh, usually what you want to do at this point is separate the message content into the command which will be like the first word so like exclamation point play and then the name of the song right exclamation point search and then what you want to search for uh, you can do this a billion different ways I'll do it in like a very simple way I'll use destructuring so we'll define two things here we'll define the command and we will define the arguments for the command so in order to get this, we'll do message.content.split. So what we want to do is split the, uh, no, actually, no, we want to take the substring. So first of all, we want to remove the first. So this, okay, <clears throat> the substring method will remove the first um, character in the message content string, which will be the exclamation point or the prefix in our case. Afterwards, we want to split the rest of this uh, message content by space because we will have exclamation point search space and then the text okay and then the first thing will obviously be the command and the rest will be arguments so then I'll just add one command down here so if command equals 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 search so if the command is search what we want to do is search some stuff we'll do that you know using the youtube sr library so here i'll define const uh, what to search so what are we searching so we we, we have that arguments arguments here is going to be an array of strings uh, so we'll say uh, args join and we'll join it back into a string a single string and okay so at this point we have the name well obviously here if you had more commands you would say else if command equals, I don't know, whatever you want your other commands to be, then do other stuff. Or you can make this a switch statement, or you can you can do it a million different ways anyway. So now what we want to do is install the YouTube SR um, library. We want to import this library uh, right here. And then what we want to do is get this function. So the way it works is... You have const uh, results, let's say results, which will equal YouTube SR. And then this is where you put the strings. So this is where we'll put what to search. Then I'll put some options in here. Uh, I'll say a limit of five, which will just give us the top five results. Cause I don't want it to give us like a hundred cause uh, I don't have anywhere to display that in. And then we have to await this obviously since it's in, it is an asynchronous, um, action function and then we want to make this entire thing asynchronous as well so the await will have effect uh and then and then we just do message reply and then we'll have the contents in here so this what this returns i think there is an example response right here is just an object that has the query which is what we searched for and then the items so what we want to get here from the results is, uh, let's say, let's say const uh, first result, right? So the first result would be obviously the, the first thing that pops up. So it'll be results and then dot items because it's going to be inside the items array. And then we'll get the first one. And then we don't want to get this entire object. So what we'll do 
we'll just get the title. Mm, do we want to get the entire object? Because we can get like a lot of stuff in here. We could just get the the link, to be honest with you. So we could get like the the link and just return that. Or what I could do is just say title is going to be that. And then um, link is going to be this bit here and then where is the title kept in it's kept in title so okay and then message reply and then we'll put a string literal uh, the result for what to oh, the result for the YouTube search result for this is the, the first let's let's put the first here right so the first the fir first youtube search result for this is first result the title and it can be found at first result dot link right so our bot will now accept commands. Obviously, when you have one defined, which is going to be search, and then when it gets search command, it will search whatever rest is in the message contents. Use that as a search parameter for YouTube. It will find the results. It will take the first result and then put it in an object. It will take the title and the link. We can obviously take a lot of more stuff from it. We don't need the, that though. And then we'll uh, give it back. So let's npm start and test our bot out. Okay, so if I say, so if I say ping again, it's not going to do anything. Obviously, we don't have anything to find. But if I say search, search, um, hello, my good sir. I don't know what actually exists on YouTube with that. Hello, my beautiful lady, my good, whatever. This is the first result. So as you can see, the first YouTube search result for hello, my good sir is hello, my beautiful lady, my good sir. And it can be found at this address. Or we could say uh search i don't know what what do people search for drugs i did in high school no there you go. drugs i did in high school drug testing for middle school i don't i don't know why this is a video i never searched this up just like you can search stuff up through discord now if you want to so you could obviously be more imaginative here and create a lot of commands to do a lot of different things um it's all up to you the the rest of the code pretty easy is is, is easy to just customize but this is like the basic the very most basic setup for a discord bot using javascript thank you for watching hope you know how to make it and then maybe in the future i'll make one for music bots because people generally have issues making those but it's actually pretty easy anyway thank you for watching uh peace